Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs, and welcome back to another GZ Doom tutorial. So, someone was asking me recently uh, how to change, like, use a switch in order to change a light, and I figured, you know, that would make, like, a really easy tutorial, so why not do it? So, much like, uh, you know, with this door over here, it's roughly the same process, just a slightly different action. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to have... I'm going to I hit S, by the way, to select all our sectors. I'm going to select all these sectors and I'm just going to throw them down to, say, 72. And then I'm going to give them a new unused tag, which in this case is eight. And as we can see, they all have the tag of eight. <clears throat> and I'm going to hit L to go into line def mode and I'm going to select this and then right click. And we're going to go to front and we're going to change the texture and the lower offset is negative 15 so that it matches the other one. And then we'll go to properties and we'll click this little folder right here. You can also, you know, of course you can, if you know the action value and, and all, you can also go through and manually look if you like. Now, one thing to note, there are quite a bit of different options for the light. I'm going to use the flicker, you know, as you turn it on and then it'll, you know, obviously flicker. But if you wanted it to be more like a light switch where you turn it on and off, uh, I do not believe it has that option out of the box. I've never seen it. It's not here anyway. Uh, so you would have to do some manual scripting in order to do that, which is outside of the scope of this particular tutorial. So I'm going to set it to flicker. Mm, let's try strobe. Strobe works. Okay, so for the brightest level, I want it to be 200. And then for the darkest level, I want it to be 80. Uh, let me just hit OK. Let me let me check this really quick. Wasn't that what? Oh, 72. Okay. Ah. All right, let's go back in here. And darkest level will be 72. Brightest will be 100. The brightest duration will last for a second. And the darkest will last for two seconds. And then when the player presses use. And we also want to assign it to the sector tag of eight. And now if we hit L and we, you know, hover over it, we can see all of our connecting lines. And if everything, you know, went successfully, which it should have, uh, we should be able to just walk right up to this and hit E. And there you go. And now we have a very bright, not so nice, uh, strobe there that might actually be you know a little too i'm gonna modify that just a little bit easy enough to do uh brightest duration hmm you know i might actually try flicker instead same thing 200 and then darkest level of 72 all right let's try again There we go. Okay. Yeah, that that randomly does it based on the sectors. You would have to the best thing to do right here to fix this hilarious problem. Um you would have to merge all these sectors together and create one giant sector in order to fix that. I'm not going to, you know, mess with that. I'm just going to I guess for the last thing we'll just click to change to value and we'll set it to 128, which uh, should, if I recall, match the original value that it was originally at, I do believe. And, yep, and there you go. And now it's back to where it was originally with the light. So, as you can see, much like with a great deal of things, uh, it's really easy. I love that part about uh, Doom map editing so much stuff is just so easy so thank you all for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you'd like this tutorial and you would like more let me know down in the comments below and also with your suggestions because outside of some scripting and a little bit more stuff i'm kind of not really sure what else to cover so that would be very helpful for me and if you'd like to support this channel you become a youtube member get early access to videos and all that good stuff and i will see you all in the next one Y'all have a good one. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Raven Gaming Labs. Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RGL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. 
If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. Members get early access to videos, member exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.